Jesus promised to return. And Christians throughout all time have expected Jesus to return in their lifetime. In fact, Peter seems to be addressing people who even in the first century were expecting Jesus to return. He says this in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that the Lord that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promises, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire. Peter says there's a reason that Jesus has not returned yet. It's because of God's patience. God wants everybody to have a chance to repent. In fact, it reminds me of one of the signs of the second coming that Jesus gave us. The gospel is going to go to the whole world before his second coming. So everybody on earth will be able to make up their minds about whether they wish to partake of the salvation available through Jesus. But and here's the important thing. Peter says that when Jesus comes, everyone's going to be surprised. It's going to be like a thief. A thief turns up when you don't expect them. Now, some people think from this that no one knows when Jesus comes back that like a thief, he's not seen. But it says the heavens are going to melt. So it's a thief, but it's like a thief that's driving a flamethrower. Everyone's going to see it. Jesus is going to come back. He delays because of his patience so that all can repent.